Have you ever heard the term, men are like waffles and women are like spaghetti? It's pretty funny and you may be able to relate to it just because you know how different men and women are. But what does it actually mean? In this video, we're going to be breaking down what it actually means, why it may be causing friction in your marriage, and what you can do about it. Hey guys, welcome back to Victory with Sheldon and Leah. <laughs> so today we are talking about Waffles and spaghetti. Mm. Now, if you're gonna eat waffles and spaghetti, you gotta make sure you do one at breakfast. Not kidding, but uh, <laughs> sorry, Alex. So as the old saying goes, men are like waffles, and women are like spaghetti. It's because waffles are very simple. You just throw it in an iron, and it's good. Spaghetti, it's all. No, just kidding. All right, I'll get serious. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't like spaghetti, by the way. I don't like spaghetti. I don't eat spaghetti. My mom traumatized me. Maybe we'll do a story time on that one too. Traumatized. I don't eat spaghetti. I never catch me in spaghetti either. So we're gonna talk about what that means, how to apply it, keep some, um, we're gonna reduce the friction in your marriage. How about that? That mm -hmm. sounds good. How about that? Yeah, we don't like friction. So let's start off talking about the fellas. We're like waffles. Now, if you've heard this before, um, you probably already know what it means. It's really simple. Guys have this uh, godly ability to like just compartmentalize everything. And I do mean everything. like. A does not affect B, and B does not affect C through Z. Like, we're good. Like, <laughs> literally, like, like we're good. Like, work is work, right? And sometimes we do need, like, a couple of minutes to sort of transition from one... What do you think? Is there, like, a technical term for, like, the little buckets in the, in the waffle? Oh, I'm sure there is. There probably is. Somebody put it in the comments below. But anyways, so it may take a couple minutes to transition from, like each compartment into another to like get into different modes that we have to be in to like function, right? But nonetheless, we can do it, right? We can do it even if it's just uh, sitting in a car for a couple minutes after work. Like a lot of people do that. A lot of guys do that and don't even realize why. They're just like, man, I just, need a, I just need a couple minutes or whatever. It's like, yeah, you do, but just take it so you can be at your best, right? <laughs> self-care. We always talk about self-care. Self-care is very important, so. But yeah, so that's what guys can do. We can compartmentalize like champions and it allows us to be functioning adults. And we're thankful for that. And I think just to add on a little, we'll talk about more about how to reduce friction in your marriage later, but if you are a woman and you ask your husband how his day was at work and he doesn't really want to talk about it, it's okay. <laughs> like we were talking about those different compartments. He wants work to be at work and he wants home to be at home. So if he doesn't want to talk about his day, it's not that he doesn't want to talk to you about his day. He just wants to separate the two. I literally like, <laughs> in my mind, it's like, I just spent all day at work. I don't want to think about it anymore. Like, I don't want to, it's not supposed to want to be at, like, just leave me alone. <laughs> like, we're not gonna, let's not talk about that, right? So <laughs> we'll get into some more pro tips later on, but that, that's absolutely true. <laughs> work was work. That's my dad used to always say. Work was work. And hell, hey, Dad, I'll work. It was work. Okay. <laughs> I get it now. Now that I'm older, I understand my father a lot more <laughs> than when I was a child. <laughs> well, um, moving on to women being like spaghetti. So women are like spaghetti, one, because we can like multitask everything. Like all the little strands in spaghetti, like everything's connected, everything's touching, it's covered in sauce, like just everything, <laughs> everything molds together. You can be talking about one subject and like somehow end up talking about something completely different. Like they I could be talking that. about breakfast and then somehow I can end up on the subject of our new car. And it's seamless to me, but it's like <laughs> weird for him. And as a woman, because everything's connected, it's such an amazing gift because you can look at a situation and you can like get the spiritual aspect of it you can get the emotional aspect of it the logical like just all the things you could just have great insight <laughs> <laughs> maybe a little light on the logical part but we'll get we'll make another video about that. <laughs> <laughs> no I, that, that is a whole nother subject about how men and women think logical versus emotional so we will make a video on that on another time but yeah, that's basically sums up why women are like spaghetti. We can multitask like a champ. And when we look at things, everything is connected. Everything's connected. Everything. Now, on the surface level, these could be points of conflict, right? Like, 
breakfast has nothing to do with the car. So, naturally, for a guy, that could create some friction. But if you look at the big picture, they're kind of both needed, mm -hmm. right? Because the danger of sort of kind of compartmentalizing things is that, like, men, you're, like, one person, right? <laughs> you're one person. And so if you're struggling or you're frustrated with, you know, one thing, it does affect you overall, even though in your mind, you know, you're still okay in these other parts of your, you know, your, your other little waffle holes, like, you know, they still got plenty of syrup in them or whatever. But the fact of the matter is you're still one whole person, so you may not necessarily understand how it may be affecting. It may look like, I don't know, you do get home from work and maybe a little short and lashing out kind of a thing. And it's like, well, that was work. I'm, I'm okay. But like, in reality, like, that's not quite how you're behaving, even though you think that's how you are. Mm -hmm. Or it kind of helps to have a lady to be like, hey, uh, what's really going on? You know, kind of a kind of a deal or whatever. So, so you want to watch that. And then the other side of the coin, ladies, the car doesn't necessarily have to do with breakfast. So you need that other perspective to be like, hey, settle down. Let's find out what's really going on, right? In areas where you know, maybe, there may be some trouble or whatever. It's good to have the guy's perspective to be like, no, it, it, I promise you, everything else is okay. Like, just let, let's deal with the issues if there are any, right? <laughs> right? Or it's not necessarily like the whole world's not collapsing because, you know, one strand of spaghetti is a little light on some sauce, so. Right. And I think another um, point of conflict that this can come up with is say you're having a very loud conversation with your with your spouse um, and you're talking about a certain subject and suddenly your wife brings up something that happened like nine months ago <laughs> and your husband's like, what does that have anything to do with what we're talking about now? Well, to a woman, like everything is connected. Spam. Spam call. Okay. So to a woman, everything is connected. Whether we like it or not, it's connected. And honestly, sometimes this may have something to do with women needing to let go of grudges from the past. But it's good for a husband to know why she brings this stuff up. <laughs> yeah, so so basically two points of interest, right, that I wanna that I wanna touch wanted to touch on in this video. Um is when conflict does arise, because you're two different people, right? You're married, you're two different people, so conflicts do arise, right? Point for the ladies, like, be sure that you're fighting fair, yeah. right? And I, and I don't mean, like, fighting, like, we're not just, <laughs> like, we're not actually, like, knockout, drag out, but when moments of disagreement, right, and conflict do arise, we ain't talking about this kind of fight, we're not doing that, but, like, when the emotional, when the emotional, uh, shall we say, levels are elevated, you want to make sure that you're remaining fight fair. So you have to back away from the spaghetti just a little bit, mm -hmm. right? When something is really affecting you or whatever, find a way to actually talk about that as opposed to, you know, your, your husband gets home, he throws his socks on the floor, and now you're blowing up. Like, we know you're not mad about the sock on the floor. The sock on the floor is just a trigger. Like, yeah. you have to deal with all the mountain of laundry, proverbial laundry that's piling up first before the socks are on the floor are just like, oh, my gosh. Because to a guy... um, instantly defensive and instantly mad like no like you're not gonna yell at me for putting my socks on the floor and work all day like and his compartment right i'm saving your marriage ladies just listen because this <laughs> compartment right just that's just it there's just socks on the floor like why are we blowing this up when in reality probably should have been dealing with some other things you know kind of leading up to that point so that's mm -hmm. that's kind of point number one you want to fight fair you don't want to throw the whole plate of spaghetti you know and there might still be some good meatballs left in there and some plenty of you know delicious homemade sauce and all that other stuff noodles cooked just right don't oh, don't just yeah. yeah don't just throw the whole you know <laughs> don't just throw the whole pot of spaghetti right and so that's my point for the ladies um also one more piece of advice right give guys time to transition right um there's kind of this and it's kind of a meme too right it's kind of funny you see videos where it's like oh my spouse is home here's all the kids and it's like ready to like throw it and i think i think there's even been some studies on this like most fights happen within a couple of minutes maybe a 10 20 minute frame of your spouse getting home your husband getting home from work or whatever because you're in spaghetti mode like your day maybe has been chaotic all this other stuff's going on and now like okay husband <laughs> your turn to have some noodles yeah. right and he's not ready for that he needs a few minutes to transition you know, he's probably going to go use the bathroom and sit on the can for a little bit. Just let him go. Just let him go take a poop. 
it'll be okay, I promise you. Like, it'll be a new man when he comes out. <laughs> Look at this golden. We, sh this shouldn't be we shouldn't be giving this away for free, babe. We need to, like, monetize. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like, I think we can relate to this. Like, imagine you just went on a really fun shopping trip. You went to the spa, you came back. Of course, working is not, like, going to the spa. But just, just for this example. You come home and your husband just hands you a crying baby. Doesn't even say hi. Just, Here's a crying baby. You're like, I just got home. So we can we can kind of understand what it's like to just come home and then just be handed a crying kid. You you don't want to do that to your husband. Yeah. And like and, and like guys, be ready to to actually make the transition. Don't yeah. stay in work mode. Don't stay like you're given that gift for a reason, all right? Don't drag that crap home like they don't talk to the fellas now. They don't want to deal with that. Like kids crying like oh, he's actually been asleep all right baby izzy who's made cameos in the last two videos he's chilling out back there he's actually done really good in this video but it's like when i'm home and like seeing how much kids cry all right i already knew how much kids cry they don't want to deal with the crap that you do with that work <laughs> like leave that mess at work like transition do what you got to do even if it means like okay i'm going to go and pick me up a my favorite soft drink or something on the way home take a few minutes listen to do what you got to do. You know what you have to do. I can't tell you what you have to do, but you already know what it is because you do it already. Make sure you're doing that intentionally so that when you get home, you can be uh, the spouse that you, I don't know, took vows to be, right? It's probably <laughs> a good idea. So, because we can handle that, fellas. We just got to, we got to get better. We can help the ladies out, right? Tell them what we want, what we really, really want. And everybody, you know, high tide raises all the vessels. So, yeah. well, anyways, we hope you guys found value in this video today. If you did, Hit the, like button, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you are notified when we put out our next video. Boom. <laughs>